Welcoming you to Asian Horror Net Channel. The real horror story about the Imperial Palace, the Forbidden City in Beijing, China. The Forbidden City is the world's largest imperial palace, located in Beijing, China. The Forbidden City occupies 720,000 square meters, over three times larger than the Louvre Palace in France. An estimated 1 million laborers work to complete the structure. The palace walls were illuminated with red lanterns, designed to recreate the feeling of the royal court of old, and a light show lit up the complex while the China National Traditional Orchestra and the Peking Opera performed. An image of a treasured scroll called A Thousand Li of Rivers and Mountains was beamed onto the palace roof. This is one of the most haunted looking places in Beijing. The Forbidden City is more credible place for a haunting in than the last example, many people would have died within these walls. A common feature on many China tours, the Forbidden City served as the imperial palace for six centuries of royal families. That meant that it housed six centuries of their advisors, attendants and concubines. As with any position of controlling powers, this city has been a location of numerous murders over the centuries. Visitors often report seeing the ghosts of eunuchs and brides in waiting walking the halls in traditional dress. With over 600 years of intrigue and assassination to draw on, it's unsurprising that the guards report the scurrying of animals, and a weeping female form dressed all in white, during the long hours of the night. One of the most famous ghost stories of the Forbidden City belongs to the mysterious black-haired woman. The story goes, one day in the mid-90s, guards tried to stop a woman who was walking about the interior believing her to be a thief. After chasing her they cornered her and ordered her to turn round, to reveal that she had no face. Others have observed crying women in the concubine quarters of the palace, and one young man even confessed to seeing a crying woman, dressed in white, walking about the grounds and when he spoke to her from behind, she never heard him or turned around. Some people even say, that the Forbidden City's haunted activities at night is the very reason why it never stays open to the public late at night. What we do know is, that it's strictly prohibited to be inside the Forbidden City at night. They will always close the gates at 5 p.m., sharp. That time is said to be the most mysterious and that many scary phenomena would appear. Forty percent of the Forbidden City is still forbidden access, and can you believe that? Only the sixty percent of the Forbidden City is already large enough for you to spend over a day exploring. In general, it's only really accessible during the day so you may not get the whiff of supernatural that you are hoping for as it's an extremely popular attraction, and it becomes quite crowded at times. There are parts of the Imperial Palace, which are completely off-limits to tourists, so be prepared to be asked to make detours around them. Can you believe or not, these mysterious locations have prompted speculation over the years, such as the government kept them closed because they were haunted. According to the authorities, the biggest challenge to restoring the Forbidden City was not money, but the loss of craftsmanship. Due to its cultural significance and unique beauty, the Forbidden City is extremely popular with both Chinese and foreign tourists. The Palace Museum boasts 14 million visitors annually, more than any single section of the Great Wall. If you visit Beijing you shouldn't miss the Imperial Palace. It's one of the most important and interesting places in the whole of China.